the countdown is on. Check it out. The launch window for NASA's Artemis One rocket opens in a little more than an hour at 7.33 hour time. A live look at the launch pad here in Florida where people started sitting down and setting up last night, uh, paying quite a bit of money just to get a shot of this. Uh, this is NASA's first mission to the moon in decades. Oh, yes, yeah, Suzanne Bruder is uh, following the launch from our newsroom. And as of now, we do think everything looks good for liftoff. They've got about a two hour window to make it in, right? Exactly, two hour window there. Uh, Artemis One is NASA's most powerful rocket yet. It's unmanned and the flight will be the first of a series of missions that's hoped will carry humans back to the moon. Now, we have been keeping a close eye overnight as crews prepare for this launch. NASA had to stop the countdown because of a fuel leak, something that also happened during a dress rehearsal just a few months ago. But as of now, the countdown is back on. If all goes well with this test flight, we're going to we're going to the moon to stay. NASA's goal is to establish a permanent station orbiting the moon. It's called Gateway. From there, astronauts could land on the moon, but it would also be a base for manned space travel. In the latest episode of our political podcast, Yaltix, NASA's chief of exploration mission planning discussed what that would look like. The goal is a long-term exploration program um, so that this isn't just flags and footprints and then we stop again. We want to be able to keep going once we get to the moon and then keep going beyond the moon to Mars. Today, the SLS will send the Orion space capsule toward the moon, where it's set to orbit for up to 23 days, gathering data. The journey will take 42 days, and you can learn more about it in the latest Y'all Takes episode. But the Artemis One mission is scheduled to lift off from the Kennedy Space, in, uh, space Center at 7.33 a.m. Texas time. And again, there is a two-hour launch window to hit lunar orbit. So if things don't take off today, NASA will try again on Friday. But thousands of people are out there, Kara, just right waiting yeah. for 7.33 to happen. And they've been out there. It, it is amazing to see those photos because you go, okay, what's the interest level here? What's you know, and just if you follow uh, Artemis on like Twitter mm -hmm. or use the hashtag on um, Instagram, it is there is a lot of interest. <laughs> people care. It's uh, a big deal. Exactly. Yeah.